Good morning friends. Uh, today we will discuss about the circle of Willis or also known as the circulus arteriosus that is the supply of the brain. So it is a hexagonal arterial circle and is situated at the base of the brain in the interpeduncular fossa and it is formed by the anterior cerebral branches of the internal carotid arteries and the terminal branches being the part of the cerebral branches and of the basilar artery. So now we will try to learn how to draw it in quick simple steps. You know we need to draw it in the exam papers, right? So yeah, here's the quick steps. You know, just follow it and make it. First of all, draw a circle. Like if you are just watching a man, right? Make a body like thin and having two feet, you know, kind of a monster making. So that sort of stuff. And two hands for him and two antennas as well. Whiskers as if it's not an animal, right? A third leg is also there for this animal. And you need to make some quick branches right here. And right here and right here. Some few quick branches again. We have another branches right from here. So yeah, you have drawn it. So now the time comes. So we need to label it. A few quick things to remember, right? Again, make a circle, make a body of the animal, a few legs, a third leg, a few branches, antennas and all that uh, sort of stuff. Now it's come to uh, name this, right? Starting from... These are the naming this points. This is your anterior cerebral artery. And this is your middle cerebral artery. And this is your posterior cerebral artery. This is your anterior communicating artery right this is your posterior communicating artery because anterior means you know connecting the anterior cerebral artery branches and posterior means connecting the posterior cerebral branches right and this is your internal carotid artery and these all the things all the uh, arteries that we are seeing here right these are kind of the anterior branch, anterior branches of the internal carotid artery, right? And the, all the things that we're seeing here are the kind of the branches of the vertebral it's artery. The right artery. The vertebral arteries go from the vertebras, you know, from the transverse foramina, for in the uh, spaces along the transverse foramina of the cervical vertebrae. They go from here, converges, you know, in the clivus and all that that stuff. So to form the basal artery and that go and osmosis with all that branches of the internal carotid arteries and make the circle of release, right? So these are called the labyrinthine arteries because uh, provide that arterial sort of stuff to the, your middle ear kind of thing and your labyrinth kind of make uh, your balance of the ear, right? Labyrinthine arteries, nothing, but your anterior, inferior, these one are the cerebral, you know, don't forget. These are cerebellar you kind of the bell, you know, you, this is kind of a bell, so bell means to your cerebellar, right? And cerebellar artery, so this one goes the same way, your posterior, inferior, cerebellar artery. And don't confuse with the short forms at times, you know, A-I-C-A, I-C-A, and P-I-C-A, P-I-C-A, at times they refer via these names, right? So yeah, all that stuff comes from here. Few branches, quick branches right here called the meningeal branches, meningeal arteries, supplying the meninges of your brain. And these are nothing but your anterior spinal artery. So yeah, this is all about